One of the most neglected and sometimes scariest side of YouTube is the YouTube Studio. But YouTube Studio is your secret sauce to success here on YouTube. Inside of the YouTube Studio is where YouTube gives you all this magical information that will tell you exactly what to do to grow a YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm going to give you a tour of what all that stuff is in the studio to make sure you understand the back end of YouTube to continue to grow your YouTube channel whether you're starting from scratch or you feel like you've been stuck and not growing for a while. My name is Trina, this is the first time you're here on my channel and we're testing some new things out here. My main goal of this channel is to help you build a business you love without burning yourself out. And one of those ways that I have found that has been a gold mine for me is YouTube videos. So let's go to my computer and I will literally walk you through YouTube Studio step by step to show you exactly what you should be looking for, Things you should be updating and all the stuff in between. So when I say YouTube Studio, I'm actually talking about when you come into here and you go to your YouTube Studio. So what you're gonna see here on the front page is first, your latest video's performance. I love to check this the day that my video goes live because I can see how well it's performing compared to my other videos. As you can see, this one's not doing as well. It's 10 out of the last 10. So when you hover over this, you'll see that this video actually is the number one performing video for your videos in the first three hours they are live. Now they're comparing kind of apples to apples here, right? They're comparing how well your latest video is doing with your other videos in that same time frame. So the first three hours, this video has been live for three hours. So that's what it's looking at here. It's also gonna give you the views that you've had. So a quick, quick overview of your current video that's live on your channel, how it's doing. If you scroll down here, you will see your most recent published videos and you can get a quick glimpse of that. Keep scrolling, you can see your latest posts so if you have the community tab, you can see that as well. Here in the center, you can get a glimpse of your channel as a whole. How many current subscribers you have, is it growing in the last 20 days? So plus 972, you also get a 28 day summary here. I know it can be scary to see red numbers, but you know what? We just keep moving right along and figuring out how we can continue to always do better. Your top videos in the last 48 hours. Now this is really important because these are the videos that are currently driving traffic. And a great notice here, you'll see this video video in the last 48 hours of mine has a thousand views and this is actually what's causing my channel to kind of slow down is because this video was doing so well for so long and it's starting to tear off. So that's why you're seeing my channel actually in the negative numbers because this video did so well for so long and now it's kind of reached its life. And you'll see the next video behind it only has 343 views. So that's instantly a signal for me that I gotta figure out what my next step is for my channel. Again, here you'll see your last comments, your recent subscribers, and then YouTube put some news over here and stuff. So that's kind of your channel dashboard. It's where I'm in a lot. The next thing you can do is come over here to this tab right here and go to videos. This is where you can see all of your videos. You can edit them from here if you want. You just hover over them and go in and edit them or comment on them straight from here. Next is your playlist. And this is where you can start to create playlists for your videos. You see, we have quite a few. This encourages encourages bingeable watch sessions on your channel. And we actually use a lot of these playlists on our channel homepage. We've created them and that's how we would create them in the YouTube studio. If we come on down, right here is the analytics. Now I do have a video that goes much more into detail in specifics of analytics you should be watching. So I will link to that and I'll also have it ready for you at the end of this video because there is a lot of information about analytics, but I kind of just want to give you an overall tour of YouTube Studio today. I don't want to necessarily go into detailed analytics, but you'll see it right here. You're going to get a glimpse of your channel in the last 28 days. This is the overview tab. So you're going to see views, watch time, subscribers, you can click the reach tab and you'll see some different numbers. So you'll see impressions, click through rate, views. If you scroll on down, you'll also see where your traffic sources are for the last 28 hours. You will also see this YouTube funnel, which is really important to know how much of your content is YouTube actually recommending. And so this tells you that of all the traffic on my channel, 25% of that traffic is coming from YouTube recommending it. So, you know, homepage, browse page, uh, search, suggested that those types of places. But then you can really start to see how can you build 
your channel and get more watch times. So if you look at this funnel, obviously if you got more impressions and you had a higher click through rate, this makes the numbers go up, right? So you can really start to see how you come down to watch time, especially if you're looking to reach that 4,000 hours of watch time to become monetized. This is definitely a feature you're gonna be watching to figure out what numbers could you do better on to hit that specific threshold. If you scroll on down here, you're gonna see your traffic for your playlist. So which playlists are getting the most play, what your external traffic sources are. So how people are watching your videos outside of YouTube. Also your suggested videos are right here, your top five suggested videos. So people are watching these videos and then watching one of your videos and a glimpse of your top five search terms, YouTube search terms. People are searching these and watching your content. Again, and if we go up here into engagement, you're gonna see your watch time, your average view duration. This is brand new in YouTube, but they're giving you this key moments of audience retention for each video. I haven't really had the time to dig into this yet, but I love this because this gives you a quick glimpse of your audience retention. So I can see this is my top percentage viewed right here. This is literally me just looking at this in real time and I need to dig into this more because this will really give you a lot of information on creating better engaging videos. So again, you can hit continuous segments. We've had three continuous segments for this video. Go to this one. This one did pretty well too. If you're struggling with your hooks, you can hit intro and look at your best hooks. Yeah, again, I'm just seeing this for the first time. This is really interesting. So this is a super important piece of your YouTube studio you should be checking out. You can also come here to your audience and see how many unique viewers, how many subscribers you're getting. You can also see when your viewers are on YouTube. So these dark purple boxes kind of suggest when you should be posting YouTube videos. I get this asked all the time. When should I publish YouTube videos? Well, this is one way to do it if you already have videos on YouTube, but if you don't, you can just get started with a specific day and time that you want to do it and then ingrain it into your audience that you have new videos every single Wednesday at 11 a.m. <laughs> you can also see subscriber bell notifications. So anytime you're not sure what one of these are, if you just hover over it, YouTube tells you exactly what this is about. So how many of your subscribers choose to receive all notifications from your channel? So I have 19% of my subscribers turn on all notifications from my channel. It's right there in the average. Typically YouTube channels are about 10 to 30%. This is another piece that I really love is other videos your audience watches. So again, this will help you figure out what kind of content to create. This is going to be great for you to figure out how to get into suggested views. So you know that your audience is watching these videos. Go to those channels, look at, you know, what are some of their big videos? What are their audience loving? And then you could do it in your own style and give your own information on those topics. Now, this is a TubeBuddy feature and it's telling me that the best time for me to publish is on a weekly Monday at 9 a.m which I'm actually thinking about publishing new content on a Monday, a Monday or a Sunday, I'm still determining. But we can see right here that this is a great one. You can also see watch time from subscribers. Actually, non-subscribers are watching my content more, which means I'm doing a not so good job of converting viewers into subscribers. So I need to do a better job of getting you who's watching to click the bell and subscribe to my channel. Uh, you can also see top geographics here as well. And then the next thing I wanna show you here is comments. This is a great place for you once you're getting a lot of comments to come in here and respond to all of them. So this isn't just by video, it's all of your comments in one place that you can easily go in and respond to. Subtitles, this is where you can add your subtitles. We use rev.com for all of our videos and get them generated from rev.com. You also see if you have any copyright strikes here. Monetization, this is where when you can monetize your channel, you're going to go. So you're gonna click on each of these to see if you have access to them and you're gonna learn more. Once you reach a threshold, hold, you can have memberships on your channel and that's all in here as well. Customization is a newer feature in the studio where you can customize your channel homepage right in here. So you can change your layout. You can pick which video people are going to see who haven't subscribed yet, what featured video you want, how you want these playlists on your homepage. So this is what your homepage is going to be broken into right here and then featured channels. Here's where you're going to update any of your branding content. So this is my profile picture, my channel icon. This is my banner image. This is where you can upload that. And this is where you can upload your video watermark. Now, if you go here to basic information, this is where you're gonna add your about me uh, information. This is where you can also grab your channel URL, claim your custom URL, and add links to your channel homepage. So like in your banner, you can add links right in there. That's where you're going to add it right here. This is one that a lot of people don't even realize that they have. And this is the audio library. You can get sound effects and music from YouTube that's 100% not copyrighted. So you can come through here and find exactly what you're
you're looking for. And you can even start to categorize it. So like if you're looking for a certain type of mood for a video, let's say bright, and you apply that, you can come through here and find songs that you like. So if you just click on it, it'll play for you. And if you like that, you can go ahead and download it and add it to your video. The same thing with sound effects. Like if you're looking for something cheering or crickets or something, you can come right here and get sound effects here as well. And then the last thing that I wanna show you here in YouTube Studio is your settings. This is where you can change like your dollar units. You can change your channel information. This is where you wanna add channel keywords, keywords that describe your channel to give YouTube and Google more information. This is where you can also say whether your channel is for children or not for children. You can also see what your featured eligibilities are. So I have default features enables and I have features that require phone notification, which is very, very important. The next thing is really great to time saver is upload defaults. So you will see all my upload defaults here. So every time I upload a video, this is already done for me. I also have my upload default to upload every single time private. So I have time to go in, clean up the video, get it optimized, get a thumbnail, all of that stuff, and then schedule it in advance. Here in permissions is where you can add a channel manager. So with my clients that I manage their content, I upload it, optimize it, give them monthly reports. They give me manager access right through here. So they will um, go in there, click add manager and add my email to that so that I have access to their channel without them even sharing a password with me. This is a great setting. If you don't know this exists in community, you can actually block people. If people are constantly commenting mean things on your channel, you can block them. You can also block words. If there's certain words that you hear a lot that you don't wanna hear on your channel, you can block words as well. And then there is an agreements tab, which if you're part of the YouTube partner program, you just have access to that contract that you technically sign and all the information about the partners program. Now, if you want a deeper dive into reading your analytics and really understanding it on a deeper level, make sure you watch the video that is on your screen right now. Go ahead, click on that video and I'm going to show you exactly how to read your analytics to plan, strategize, and more importantly, grow your channel. So click on that video and I'll see you over there.